Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Queen of Stars, and this is Angel, and we send you love. And you're wondering why I'm wearing glasses? I'll tell you very shortly. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. I have so much good stuff for you this week. Yay! This week the sun is a sign of Pisces. So happy birthday to you. We love you, Pisces. You are dreamers. You are Einsteins. You are Mother Teresa's. And we love you. The moon will travel in the signs of Aquarius, Pisces, and also Aries and Taurus this week, giving special energy to those signs. The big, big news this week on Tuesday, we have our first of six eclipses to come. This one is total new super moon solar eclipse on Tuesday in mystic Pisces. Wow. It is opposing lucky but retrograding Jupiter in the sign of perfectionist Virgo that helps to bring the truth. It's the sign of wellness. It's the sign of truth and the justice as well. And it has a very strong effect on the people who are born around this period. So if your birthday is around this time, expect some breakthroughs or miracles to happen in your life. It's unbelievable. The monkey year will give you that extra push with that extraordinary eclipse happening around your birthday. This eclipse also will be bigger and brighter than usual. So wow, anywhere to watch it, it will be a treat. So that day, everyone, you should make a wish, a big, big wish. And also, this eclipse is very, very close to planet, to the Chiron. And Chiron has a lot to do with the higher purpose of humanity. And also with Mercury, planet of communication, occurring exactly at the 18 degrees, which is a vibration 9. Very significant because 9, it's all the universe that is opening up to the Earth. So all the energy from the universe is connecting with us to open gates of our infinite possibilities. It's a very significant vibration, especially in the year of the monkey nine, all spiritual, all allowing us to really see the truth and to be the best we could be. And also we have an opportunity this year because of this eclipse to move on and to let go of the past, heal bad habits, make it right for where we were wrong and also take care of our health make healthy life choices this is what the eclipse this week is telling us it's amazing and also happening in this magical monkey year with vibration 9 the success belongs to the people with generosity with pure pure intentions in their hearts and especially to the givers remember in life there's givers and takers and the givers this year are rewarded. And also another big, uh, big, big news this week, Friday, Witty Mercury will also be very close to Nebulous Neptune, Planet of Dreams, very close to the Earth, very powerful. It happens only once this year, and it reignites our fires of our imagination and spirituality, and it opens up the doors of our infinite, infinite, possibilities because there's an angel in inside of us and it's so beautiful so now we're going to connect with this and the people who are really trying to take off and fly it's happening and this year this week it's beginning the gates of the heavens are opening and saturday also good news venus planet of love will leave very cerebral aquarius to enter the sign of compassionate sensitive pisces for four weeks it will calm things down and also bring some forth um, like some truth especially in the political world or in people's lives if people were maneuvering or manipulating now it's like going to be brought up right into the front of everyone with the ability to finally heal and it will all help all of us to be in the truth in our lives and also in world affairs also i want to say happy international women day on tuesday more and more women, especially with Pluto and Capricorn, is starting to take some leadership roles in the coming years. It's just very good that the yin energy will start, you know, finding its way in society 
to pick at peaks because the yang is very male and it's very war oriented and we did this and it's okay it's always for the better good but now we are entering peace and more and more women will become to play a very big role in society as leaders and also next week St. Patrick's Day are you ready all the Irish people I'm ready I'll be dressed up in green let me start with you Pisces. Happy birthday to you. We love you. The new moon eclipse in your sign really makes you alert, creative, artistic, and also <gasps> powerful. Your intuition is very strong and your sense of business is heightened. The focus is on taking charge of your destiny, taking care of your budget, to say it as it is. You are so also very creative and you are doing a lot of changes in your life to make your future even better. And somehow, it's very important now to let go of the past, old stuff that don't belong in your life, bye-bye, and set the record straight somehow. Meditate and really focus on your goals on the weekend. And you should listen to your dreams too because they could be prophetic. Guess who is Pisces and also a bore in Chinese horoscope like Hillary Clinton? Mitt Romney. And yes, he is definitely uh, banging on the nail of the coffin of the clown Trump. You know, me as an astrologer, you know, I don't take sides in anything. I look at the charts and I know where people have good intentions to help people and they work from their heart and not from whatever. I'm telling you, and this is, that guy Trump is truly, uh, it's like a very, 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 very Hitlerish. And this guy, you, you will see how the universe is giving him all the rope in order to hang because he's not good for people. And you will see that it's gonna be quite a lesson and it's gonna to go to history because this is madness, all right? So anyways, let the universe surprise us. It will be quite interesting. Your magical color, my beautiful Pisces, this week is blue. Your lucky numbers are six and 33. You should play a lottery. Aries, the new moon eclipse in your spiritual sector brings hope and strong magnetism. No one can resist you in a way, so everywhere you go, people are like, wow. And this week, I suggest to you to look at life, like look at life, see the glass half full, not half empty. Count your blessing. You are wealthier in so many ways. So please focus on the sun, not on the clouds. You will be asked to dine out somewhere with somebody special and you should say yes, you'll feel so special. And the spotlight is also on getting the help you need at work, at home, or with family. So this week, the more you will give, the more you will receive. <laughs> on the weekend, love conquers all. Your magical color orange, lucky numbers, five and 23. Taurus, the eclipse in your social sector bring you self-awareness and a lot of determination. There's a lot of change in the air, especially this eclipse that's gonna give you a big kick somehow. And it will allow you to get your wings and find your way to fly. You enjoy a very good reputation and a helpful Leo or a friendly Cancer could bring exciting ideas. Take the time to reflect about who you are, what you want to accomplish and let go of the past. Some old issues with old attitude must go. It's time to heal and to be fresh with a positive attitude. Use love over anger, okay? Be fresh, loving, forgiving. And the weekend, relax, spoil yourself. Guess who is Taurus Dragon in the political scene? John Kasich. Actually, this, this is when I did the chart, this is a very honest and very good guy. It's too bad that people don't vote for him because he would be fabulous. But it's okay, you know, everything has its reason and I trust the universe 100%, but he's cool. Your magical color, my beautiful Taurus, white, lucky numbers, 4 and 22. Gemini, Gemini! The eclipse in your career sector makes you quite ambitious and determined to succeed. But your ruler Mercury is doing a big square. That's not good with planet Mars, that's your human side says to be truthful, to be good, to be forthcoming, play by the rules, and you will move forward. If you don't, you'll be sorry. Somehow it's an all or nothing kind of week. You either move forward or you're blocked. It's gonna be quite interesting. And somehow it's important to follow all the synchronicities. 
the signs and to readjust your position accordingly because you're gonna have a lot of readjusting this week and get ready for a reality check but it's good especially at work associates friends family they are really uh, helping you and they have your back and that's good show gratitude and on the weekend meditation on your goals is very important you could get a lot of message from the cosmos and the mystic energies watch what happens with the gemini trump in this eclipse month guess who is also a gemini rubio is a gemini and also bore like hillary clinton in the chinese horoscope and he will definitely have a very long political career he's got potential and he's a good gemini not like the other one your magical color gemini is red lucky numbers 6 and 33. cancer is the new moon eclipse in your karmic sector bring magic breakthroughs miracles change is in the air and you can feel it time to let go of the past once and for all no more i worry no more what about if eh, eh. take that out of your life what's coming my dear is extraordinary believe it i'm a cancer Ta -da. i'm ready look at the part of your life that you need to let go it's time to move on and to really believe with all your heart because now the universe it really has your back so if you show up and you take the bull by the horns it's all yours so take action take initiative and look the part at work at home also people are definitely your allies and they help you and you are now realizing well if you don't wake up and realize you are worthy to receive end of story on the weekend spend quality time with loved ones your magical color tadam orange lucky numbers 9 and 45 play lottery leo's the solar eclipse in your shared resources sector bring you a, some kind of liberation, inspiration, and hope for the future. There's much to do, but you enjoy the adventure of it all for some reason. You're ready to do all kinds of new things. Are you thinking of traveling maybe, signing up for school or seminar or starting your own business? Wow, this is the week to do it. That eclipse gives you that extra push. Take initiative and get the ball rolling. Success is definitely on the way. On the weekend, somehow, uh, laughter, fantasy is definitely on your menu. You're gonna feel terrific. You're gonna feel royal. Your magical color, Leo, lucky numbers, one and 11. Virgos, well, the eclipse in your relationship sector bring you intensity, strong emotions, but also clarity about your future. This is a, a week that's gonna give you, is am I going here or am I going here or here? You'll know by the end of the week. This is a time to truly make serious career decisions. Follow your heart, not your head. And also associations uh, with other people or groups may be challenging, but you will find a way to, tru to truly make peace with all of this and turn it in a good way. And also on the weekend, let love rock you gently. You're going to need a little uh, gentleness this weekend. Besides the good-hearted, fabulous Sanders that I really like, because he has a good chart, but he has a chart to be a pope, not to be a president. So, But he's doing a fabulous role. And he plays a, a role that the universe has chosen him for that. And he'll be a legend because of that in history later on. Guess who is also Virgo? Because Virgos, they could be their Geminis. Like Geminis, they're controlled by Mercury. So if they're too much in the head, sometimes they could make mistakes. If they're in the heart, they do incredible things. So uh, you know who are Virgos as well in the political scene? Well, a little bit deceiving Fiorina, that's for sure. Opportunistic Christie, we know what he just did lately. I mean, really, desperation. And Sleeping Beauty, good guy though. Very good guy, Carson. John McCain also is definitely uh, a Virgo, a real one. And all of them, unfortunately, the fourth, except for Sanders, is really on the good side of history. The other four, not really on the good side of history. But it's okay, they're playing the role. Without the dark, we don't see the light, right? Your magical color, my beautiful Virgos, orange, and lucky numbers, five and 10. And now, beautiful Libras, the eclipse in your work sector makes you focused and brilliant. You find solutions to challenges, 
and you could be having some little breakthroughs in the career everything to do with partnership relationships also with your children and family be more stable the focus is on also on romance being close to the people you love your diplomatic approach your patience brings results in love give and you shall receive it's your time to be the giver and you like that anyway so thank you for that and take advantage of your big heart on the weekend people want to cover you with love and they want to also show you with gratitude your magical color tur turquoise lucky numbers three and eight scorpios the solar eclipse in your creative sector brings you extra energy you will power a desire to reinvent yourself and to be healthy and fit keep your good work solutions and also look the part in love also get ready for some commitments this week is sort of a break or make it kind of week so be choose love over challenges and bitterness and if you choose if you go on the path of love you will have a happy endings wonderful friends also support you in everything you do in career at home and on the weekend rest recharge your batteries or spend time with people that care about you your magical color red lucky numbers 11 and 21 Sagittarius the Eclipse in your home sector brings you a strange intuition and deep deep profound feelings you attract unusual people that teach you something about life you're going up in the world somehow you're doing well whatever business or career you're in. Love, art, literature, politics, music, all good for you. A creative project brings success and in romance, you can be a little possessive, but it's sort of sweet in a sweet way and the lover doesn't mind. It doesn't, that's pretty cool. On the weekend, listen to your dreams and listen to what people say and act accordingly. Your magical color, mauve, lucky numbers, three and 39. Capricorn, Capricorn, the eclipse in your communication sector, bring you insight in your career goals. Surprising circumstances and turnarounds of events provide answers in your professional and also in your love life. It's a very good time to op open up your mind to all new ways of doing things and to meditate and listen to other people's ideas. On the weekend, home sweet home is where you need to be. And guess who's a Capricorn and also dog in Chinese horoscope in the political world? Mm -hmm. They're very powerful, very ambitious. Ted Cruz. Yes, very ambitious. And he's going to do good, actually, but uh, he will not be president. Your magical color, yellow, lucky numbers, 4 and 22. Aquarius, the eclipse in your financial sector bring you some strong emotions dealing with family, budget, uh, projects work decisions investments and but you're getting inspired you're doing very good you may be reconnecting with your past which somehow will help you better understand who you are today now a good time also to help other people share your knowledge forgive forget and give the more you give your this is your destiny anyways it really makes the, the the success belongs to the givers and you're one of them so thank you for giving all the time on the weekend friends bring a lot of joy make you feel special your magical color lilac lucky numbers 5 and 23 Ta -da! and now here's your affirmation of this eclipse week Ooh, revelating all kind of illumination what goes around comes around that's life what we put out we get back life is a boomerang and this will be very true especially in the monkey year in everything, in every part of our lives, in career, in world affairs, in politics, we will see the truth come out and the light shine. Love you guys. Happy Eclipse Week. And I'll see you for St. Patrick's next week. Ta-da. I love you. Be good now. Really, be good.